Today we're going to do a quick little video to show you how to start to strengthen your grip. Um, this is great for anybody who does any kind of Olympic lifting or body weight activity where you have to hang, pull-ups, skipping pull-ups, anything like that. If the limiting factor is your grip strength or you find that you're getting a lot of blisters, a lot of times that can be due to a lack of grip strength. So first one is real easy. First off, you take a towel, you stop using the handles on any, any weights. You don't have to have a kettlebell. You can do this by just using a regular old weight. Um, and what I do is I put that through the handle and then I grip it here, okay? So the first one, when you do a, a, a farmer's carry or a farmer's walk, what you do is you hold this at your side. You can make that weight obviously as heavy as is challenging. Then you just walk, you know, 50 feet back and forth or whatever you do. It's, it's a good endurance thing, endurance activity for your grip. And again, you, you pick a weight that's appropriate for you. One thing is, is when you see people doing this in the gym, a lot of times they get weight that's too heavy and it makes them lean. That can be detrimental to your shoulder and neck. So you want to pick something that you can still work on your posture, still work on your scapular stabilizers as you walk. Now I also recommend reversing the grip. So you're going kind of thumb up now. So you can get in this position. And in this position, again, you can, you can sit up tall, stabilize the shoulder blade, and you can even do bicep curls this way to further strengthen your grip. Okay. I'm not a big fan of bicep curls just for bicep curls, but as a grip strengthening activity, I think they're fantastic. Now, one progression that you can do, and this is a little bit more advanced, is you can use this towel to help with your kettlebell swing form, plus help with your grip at the same time. You just want to be careful that you're not going to lose the towel. So I would do this early on in your, in your grip strengthening activities so that you don't lose your grip and the kettlebell goes flying across the room. So. For starters, is I choke up on the towel and I get this kettlebell here, right? This is going to be your re regular KB swing where you're going to be swinging out. So you can start by just kind of getting the, the, bell, the bell moving, right? And then once you got it moving, then you can really work on just doing your regular kettlebell. Obviously, you can build a little more intensity to bring this through here. But if you'll notice, the kettlebell is swinging straight out. It's not, it's not flopping around like this because that would, that would tell you that you're not using good form on your kettlebell swing. And it also is a little more stressful on your grip. You want to get a nice swing where you're here, you're going to come down, right? You get it swinging and then you're there. And it should be swinging straight out. So that's a little quick um, circuit that you can do to strengthen your grip and even work on your kettlebell swing form.